Hello and welcome to my channel on Ancient and Chinese Astrology. I am professional astrologer Zagata from 100%astrology.com, um, my website. And in this video, I would like to examine the question of how astrology works. Now, let me pre preface this by saying that this is a very, uh, very deep and complex topic that has been widely discussed uh, throughout human history, I mean since the dawn of astrology and there are uh, various uh, diverse uh, views and opinions and arguments etc. And let me also stress that this, I mean I will uh, examine uh, the views of uh, famous astrologers uh, of the Western tradition and also of uh, the Chinese tradition in general and Indian tradition in general and I will also uh, share what my view is on on the matter, what it was and what it is now and um, I'd also like to uh, emphasize that this is not uh, the, the final say, uh, so to say, I mean uh, as you see that the topic is very diverse and uh, it's more philosophical, it's much more philosophical than practical and having a different view than another astrologer doesn't make you uh, any better or any worse than him or her. It's a matter of, of, uh, of perception, a matter of, uh, of preference and uh, again, it, uh, although it also influences what type of philosophy you would be drawn to in your practice and study of, uh, of astrology. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's so it's uh, again it's 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 an important matter. Uh, on the other hand, we have to uh, keep in mind that astrology is an occult science, and there is a reason for that, namely that occult means hidden, and the the the, the effects what we are studying are the effects of uh, of the planets of the stars, etc. We we don't know exactly how uh, how it works that's why it's hidden it's a cult so there's nothing uh, uh, wrong with that I mean there I mean uh, we uh, again it's, it's 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 very complex and uh, it's also I will uh, I will also briefly touch on science and what what science says again with with it's very limited understanding and apparatus okay so uh, so uh, let's get started uh, I've uh, this is uh, a diagram that uh, American astrologer Chris Brennan has in his book. I've uh, I've slightly changed it uh, to uh, to better um, uh, reflect uh, uh, the way I see things. I mean the way, uh, for example, he calls it here signs. These are not signs. These are omens or representations, etc. And he also reverses. He puts complete determinism here, whereas put where I swap them. I put partial because we in our culture again. We write from left to right, not the, other, not the other way around, as the Arabs and the Chinese. Uh, and also, he says that this uh, type of diagram with the circles is called uh, Vren diagram. That you can uh, look it up. So anyhow, so let's, uh, as I said, let's uh, let's get started. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is that we start from uh, from the top, and then we move this way uh, from left to right, as I said. Uh, so uh, the the reason also I. Uh, uh, I I, uh, uh, I colored the circles this way. Is again that there is a because uh, because of uh, of how astrology uh, developed and where these views come from. What I mean is, as you will notice, that this is a blue circle. Well, we can we can call it the sky, if you will. Uh, first, astrology was. Uh, Actually, this is also a matter of debate, but anyhow, uh, who invented astrology originally? And let's let's let me uh, say this: that I'm not talking about natal astrology that I explained was uh, came about uh, 2,000 years ago or 2,100 years ago uh, when uh, Hypsico, uh, the Greek astronomer, uh, wrote his uh, his book on ascensions that allowed astrologers to calculate. Uh, the ascendant sign, the 12 uh, houses, the, the ascendant degree. Prior to that, the astrology that was practiced was very much more uh, uh, basic and even primitive compared to the type of astrology, that, uh, compared to what we call Hellenistic astrology that uh, that appeared and that uh, 
uh, that marked an entirely new beginning, etc., etc. I've examined this in, in great detail in my video, A Brief History of Ancient Astrology. So the point is, uh, prior to, na to natal astrology, uh, and uh, rather after natal astrology, we had electional and, and horary, which could not exist without natal, without the 12 houses. Uh, uh, but prior to this, we had... Uh, what we now call mundane astrology or it was also called uh, world astrology or uh, universal astrology yeah, by the ancients and uh, this type of astrology again I was I was saying uh, uh, there is some debate who invented it first I mean uh, for example uh, the most famous uh, Arabic astrologer in history Abu Mashar he says that the Babylonians invented astronomy what we call astrology uh, first, and then he said, uh, if memory serves, he said, then the Indians, then the Persians, then etc., etc. But, uh, but the, what I'm saying is, for example, Chris Brennan in his book, he says that, and, and not just says, of course, because Chris Brennan is also a scientist, a historian, so to say, he quotes always, he quotes various, uh, various historians uh, that say that uh, th the Egyptians invented uh, astrology before the Babylonians, not the other way around. And there are some there are some sources again that that claim this histor historians that their quotes have survived. So anyhow, it doesn't matter for our purposes who invented uh, astrology because whether it was uh, the Mesopotamians, uh, whether it was the Egyptians, because they both ha cultures held the same uh, view overall and that view is that uh, uh, the planets and the stars acted as omens as representations so if something happens on the sky it's an omen it's an omen it's a uh, it's a representation of what is to come on earth uh, and um, uh, the famous uh, author and scientist Francesca Rochberg she, she has several books on uh, Babylonian astrology she speaks ancient languages and she has translated uh, Babylon, ho Babylonian horoscopes or whatever uh, I mean they're not really horoscopes but anyway they're like two three sentences uh, but anyhow uh, the point is that she has a book called uh, Heavenly Writing which is which is how uh, the ancient uh, cultures of Mesopotamia Babylonian etc many other cultures they uh, 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 perceived uh, uh, the planets, the stars, as omens, as as, repre as representations, and this this also leads me to uh, uh, to say that uh, as also Chris Brennan explains, and, and again talking about facts here, and not opinions and, uh, and theories, uh, also uh, the way they uh, because uh, Babylonian uh, there was there was a great shift. Uh, so prior to this shift in the in the fifth century BCE, before the Common Era, when the zodiac became standardized of uh, of twelve zodi of twelve images of thirty degrees. Prior to that, their astronomy was was not as uh, mathematical astronomy was not was not was what was not as highly developed. So they could not calculate. Uh, uh, planetary cycles and ephemeris, the planetary movements, uh, that many centuries or millennia uh, ahead. So they thought that because they could see, I don't know, 100, 200 years into the future or or, or, uh, or even uh, less, that these were omens. They, did, they could not, uh, uh, they could not uh, fathom that you could, you could calculate accurately for thousands of years in advance. So these signs and omens could be interpreted in advance, again, centuries in advance, etc. And uh, so, uh, the, and also their view, uh, so their view initially was of partial determinism. Uh, again, so these circles here, uh, 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 touching. And uh, Francesca Rosberg, and as Chris Brennan also explains, is that uh, uh, they, uh, they also uh, believe that through... Uh, through human action, through uh, through uh, through sacrifices, through prayers, through you know interactions with with the gods, as planets were seen as gods, uh, they could uh, mitigate and uh, you know uh, appease uh, the gods, so to say, so that in other words, this opened this this gave room for uh, for some mitigation, for some uh, again for some relief 
of, of uh, 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 from the significations of the omen. So again, th so this is this inclines to partial determinism. Although again, as their mathematical astronomy uh, improved and they figured out that they could uh, calculate much much uh, much longer cycles, they uh, they started inclining more more towards not complete determinism. They just moved from partial a little bit. To it this way to complete again not to complete it, it it's just that they understanding again uh they they started uh you know uh, realizing that uh astrology is much more uh, could show much more and also with the advent of uh, uh natal astrology and with the advent of the zodiac and uh you know the uh, the natures of the planets uh later on the aspects the uh, Predictive techniques, etc., etc., etc. So uh, this this was original. This was the original uh, view of how uh, of how the planets and the stars uh, work. They worked as again as omens, as as representations. Uh, now speaking of uh, of natal astrology, uh, as I explained in detail in my video, a brief history of ancient astrology, are uh, the three most influential uh, authors of Hellenistic astrology are uh, Vitius Valens, uh, second century of the Common Era, uh, Dorotheus of Sidon, first century, late first century of the Common Era, and Claudius Ptolemy, sec second century of the Common Era. Now starting with Valens because, uh, well, because he's the, ast the astrologer par excellence, he's the astrologer that shared more than a hundred horoscopes, more than any other astrologer in, uh, possibly in history, or at least for the first millennium or so. And uh, he, uh, uh, it's interesting because he, he's a complete determinist, uh, uh, and wh whether he sees the planets as uh, omens or as causes directly causing, he sees them uh, as uh, as omens. Now the reason why is because, uh, for example, in one of his books he says that. He had such and such a plan for the day or for whatever for the given period and he could not even bathe he could not take a bath he could not attend to his business because of this and this configuration so we're talking about determination <laughs> i mean preventing him or how, however you want to put it from taking a bath and he has many passages philosophical passages about uh you know like such as becoming a soldier of fate and you know uh, uh, having equanimity to face the 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 the, the blows of fate, etc., etc. Both the positive and the negative, so to say. So Valens Valens is a complete determinist, but he use, he uh, understands uh, the planets and the stars as representations, as omens, because if you carefully read how he uh, uh, describes certain configurations or, uh, or certain even planetary uh, significations, he says. It, uh, it gives signs, it gives, in other words, omens, representations for something, such a planet or such a placement. Uh, true, he has some, uh, some sentences that speak about causes, such as uh, uh, when he speaks about uh, the lot of necessity, uh, for example. But anyhow, his overall philosophy is definitely... Uh, about omens and representations and not about causes. So Valens is a complete determinist and planets acting as omens. Uh, Dorotheus of Sidon, he uh, is also viewing planets as omens and representations, but he is not a complete determinist. He is, uh, he is more of a partial determinist. And the reason for that is, uh, well, uh, for example, he has a he has a oh, in his five books. One of the books is about election astrology, inception astrology. Now, if you are advocating election astrology, in other words, uh, electing auspicious times for the realization of a desired uh, consequence, such as I want the consequence of I want the result of uh, of signing a lucrative business contract. I want the timing when to sign it so that it will bene best benefit me. I want the best time to uh, to purchase property. I want the best time to invest my money in something. It's a, I want the best time to to uh, to enter into marriage, etc. If it was predetermined, why why choose the best time, right? So uh, uh, Dorotheus is a partial determinist. Having said that, 
many of his uh, rules that he quotes from Babylon and Egypt per, per his uh, admission at the start of the book are, are very deterministic in the sense that he says if this and this happens the native will, be, will have no children, the native's uh, spouse will die, etc, etc. But this is typical from, from I mean, for, in fact, from, for, if not probably for all uh, uh, ancient and classical authors in general. But overall, he's, uh, he's partially deterministic, although, again, uh, uh, in fact, I, I, will, uh, I will touch on this later when I, uh, when I examine um, um, uh, the Indian tradition. Uh, so uh, next is Claudius Ptolemy. As I said, uh, Ptolemy he's, uh, he differs. Uh, he's uh, first of all Ptolemy did tr a tremendous uh, uh, reformation and in a way damage to the tradition because he reformed astrology. He uh, he. Uh, uh, he abbreviated astrology a lot, he threw out a lot of uh, key key concepts and he barely used the 12 houses and uh, he didn't use any lots except for the lot of fortune, He did, etc, etc, what a mess. Uh, and he quoted, uh, he, although he quoted ancient authors, he never named them, which again, unlike his uh, astronomical uh, uh, book, you know, The Almagest, where he quotes the sources, but anyhow, I don't uh, I never liked Ptolemy, although there is there's definitely things to take from him, such as the length of life, etc. Although again he's quoting Petusiris about that, but let, let me not get carried away. The, the point is, is that Ptolemy reformed astrology to be uh, almost a, a, a subdivision of physics. So Ptolemy is operating uh, under the uh, uh, the premise that uh, the planets are causes and the stars are causes of they cause things to people and uh, not just to, 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 to I mean to people to natives but also mundane astrology overall there are you know uh, uh, eclipses etc etc the eclipse causes this and that and and uh, in uh, sorry in uh, in terms of partial or complete uh, he's partial he's not he's a partial determinist and the reason again he explains uh, if you want to, uh, if for, uh, for knowledge of of your fate, of your uh, of your the meaning of your life, etc., the topics of your of your of your life will will help you to make the correct decisions and to prepare in advance and to and to counter some of the effects, such as if you know that uh, if your chart, I mean, shows that you are predetermined to uh, uh, to hot diseases. Uh, inflammations, uh, it, uh, high temperature, etc, uh, etc, et you will, uh, as caused by Mars or extreme heat such as choleric, uh, choleric temperament, etc, etc, uh, taking, taking foods that, uh, taking foods and drinks such as cold foods and the co uh, foods that, that, co that cause heat and, and moisture in the body, because Mars is a, is a hot and dry planet, will counteract somewhat and lessen mitigate the, the cause the things that Mars causes so again uh, he gives also, also other examples uh, about temper etc so Ptolemy views planets as causes and he is a partial determinist uh, let's see who else I mentioned Firmicus Maternus here he wrote the longest uh, book in uh, in ancient history uh, in the fourth century uh, lawyer and he uh, in Latin and he uh, he's a complete determinist and he sees planets uh, also as uh, as causes and uh, he uh, he he's a very poet he was a very poetic author and he uh, the way he writes he wrote is uh, you know the native will, will be uh, overcome with uh, with lust. The native's desires, the native's nature will be this and that, and this causes this, this causes that. This, uh, you know, uh, the stars do this, and it's it's a he's a complete uh, a determinist, and sees planets as uh, uh, as uh, as causes. He speaks about fate, lots of stoic stoic sentiments, uh, etc. And uh, let's see. Uh, uh, 
let me uh, let me also say that uh, this issue, as I said, and I'll keep saying, it's a very complex issue of how astrology works because we don't just have, first of all, uh, different types of astrology, ancient, Indian, Chinese. We have different branches of astrology. Again, we have mundane, we have data, we have electional, we have horary. And in some cases, uh, the uh, the view that uh, I will give specific examples. The view that planets that planets and stars cause things is uh, how shall I put it? It's it's uh, well, it's absurd. It's untenable. It's it, it, it's uh, it's you know. And in other cases, that planets act as uh, omens or representations. Uh, sorry, it ju it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Uh, so, uh, uh, for example, uh, I've uh, I have uh, found uh, missing uh, missing animals with uh, with astrology not once or twice, and uh, the people who ask the questions uh, the, are obviously uh, the, the owners of the pet or someone who is very uh, who, who who is an interested party, someone who loves the pet, someone who has. Uh, an, in, uh, uh, an earnest interest to know. So uh, again, and the question uh, shows whether the uh, the pet or animal will be found or not, etc. Whether it's alive, etc. And can someone really claim that in such case, for example, if even astrologer uh, inclines to to to, uh, to to planets acting as causes, can the astrologer actually claim that the the that uh, uh, the client asking the question caused the their pet to go missing. I mean, that's it just does doesn't make any sense. And of course, let me explain that it doesn't matter what the astrologer uh, uh, the, the astrologer's view doesn't matter because again, this is a philosophical question. What matters is what the chart shows and uh, and the astrologer's ability to discern and to extract the information regardless of, of, the, of the astrologer's view and inclination to, to this philosophical issue. Again, one astrologer uh, 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 favoring this causes of all representations is not better or, or worse than the other. But the point is, is that this is a tricky issue. This issue needs to be uh, discussed and, and, and taken into consideration. Uh, again, I've seen, uh, I, and I've predicted death of animals and I've seen it. And uh, for example, death of horse. And uh, again, or I've been asked about uh, uh, animals and whether they are alive or what have you. And again, we can't say that uh, the, the, the person asking the question is, is causing this or somehow interfering with, uh, uh, with the life of the animal or vice versa. Again, if, uh, or, or if, uh, let's say, uh, if, if the chart shows, for example, I've been asked, should I buy this horse? And I answered uh, the native and uh, what I uh, what I concluded and uh, predicted what turned out to be correct, of course, namely that. Uh, well, actually, sorry, I can't remember the, the specifics because it was four or five years or six years ago. But the point is, uh, what happened happened. What, 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 what my uh, what I remember is that, uh, of course, I have the file in, on my computer. But the point is, uh, I told the the, the client that. Uh, uh, he should buy the horse, it's worth buying this horse, it's worth investing, but he will ultimately uh, uh, sell this horse, not keep it. And this is what happened. So the point is, if the chart, show, if the chart had shown that uh, the native would not benefit from the horse, or the native could get hurt from the horse, again, do, uh, uh, those astrologers that, that claim that planets act as causes, in, uh, can they really claim that the horse that the, sh the, the chart is somehow energetically related to the horse and the horse is, I don't know, sensing this and then turns and starts hurting the deity for, or I don't know, sabotaging the, the owner in some way. We, we don't know the answers to this. It doesn't, it doesn't, it seems extremely unlikely, right? Again, this doesn't change what the chart shows. We're discussing our views and I mean how astrologers view this matter. And as you see, there's so there's so diverse uh, uh, views on it. On it. Uh, speaking of this, uh, there's also the issue of uh, of other people in the native's life. I just uh, discussed animals. For example, uh, 
Indian astrologers and in, in general those that practice Jyotish are called uh, Jyotishi from Sanskrit. Uh, so these Jyotishis, they, uh, they, uh, you, you can hear them say, for example, uh, this and this shows, uh, for example, this configuration shows that you have problems or hindrances in your career. And this and this shows that you have uh, setbacks in your uh, in your financial uh, status, etc., etc. However, when your father or when your mother or when your spouse dies, your horoscope will be uh, there will be a change. Your your chart will get uh, relieved or somewhat liberated, and you your condition will, will improve. Uh, you know, almost like dramatically. So again, are we saying that? Uh, the native's uh, parents or spouse or, wh or whoever or sibling is somehow uh, suppressing the native, causing the native to be to be suppressed in his career or his her career or financial status. Again, we can't prove this, but this is because we have rules for this. It, the chart shows this, and we've seen we've seen it play out correctly over and over again. That's why we see it. So, uh, and on the other on the other side of the spectrum. For example, American uh, Jyotishi uh, astrologer uh, James Braha, you can I've seen this on his interviews on YouTube. For example, he likes to say how, in his own, uh, so how uh, he has one child, a son, and uh, prior to to the birth of his his own son, he had um, his financial situation was uh, was unstable. He was not able to accumulate. Uh, uh, that much money, etc., etc. However, after the birth of his son, his financial situation improved uh, markedly. He was able to, he, he was able to uh, uh, to invest money in uh, was it gold, silver, etc., and make made, make uh, excellent returns. And he explained by saying that his son has in his uh, uh, Indian horoscope uh, he has. Uh, the sun conjunct Jupiter in the ninth house in Pisces, and in the Indian horoscope, especially the the South Indian tradition, the father is the ninth house, not the tenth house. Again, this is their tradition, and the sun obviously represents the father, and the sun conjunct Jupiter, the benefic Jupiter in the in, in Pisces in the domicile of Jupiter, represents that the father will do extremely well, etc., etc. So again, James doesn't necessarily say that my son caused me to get. Uh, you know, wealthy for, to, for my financial situation to, to improve that, you know, dramatically. But again, I was talking about the, his son's chart being a representation, an omen of what his son's, of, sorry, of what his father's future will be like. Or are we talking that somehow energetically his son helped James uh, improve his financial situation from from uh, the views of James, he again is Indian astrologers, as I will explain later on, they see the planets as causes, not as omens, representations. So he will say, because of my, I made money because of my son, because of him, thanks to him. Uh, also, for example, uh, you will, uh, on the other side of the spectrum, you will uh, read uh, delineations such as, for example, in Dorotheus, first century CE, an ancient astrologer, that uh, when the third house is afflicted, uh, the native will not have, uh, I mean, the third house, the third house, Lord, etc., the native will not have uh, siblings. And in the Indian tradition, they use, uh, again, depending uh, only the third house, and another type of Indian tradition uses the third house for younger uh, siblings, the eleventh for older. And uh, so, uh, so, again, you will see delineations if, again, if the third and the Lord is afflicted, uh, or and even especially if also the uh, significator of the third house, which is Mars, is afflicted, the native will not have, the, let's say, in the Indian tradition, young, younger siblings. Again, what are we seeing here? Are we seeing that when you, is, let's say, this is your chart, as a child, as a baby, your horoscope is starting to influence your your parents not to not to create other children. Are we seeing? Are we seeing this, or are we seeing that? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. This is. I mean, that your uh, your uh, your horoscope, uh, the vibrations of your chart are somehow uh, 
sending this 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 flare in creation and alerting other souls not to incarnate uh, not to choose your parents as their parents i, I don't know how, how are we claiming this you see we uh, i mean because if we claim that that planets are causes we can't claim that a small child is i don't know is preventing his parents is sabotaging his parents from creating more uh, uh uh, more children which would be your siblings again you see it's it's uh it's it, it's really tricky it depends and also uh on the other side of the spectrum again you will you will read uh, delineations of ancient astrologers uh for example uh about uh when when analyzing the uh, the significators of the parents the sun the moon etc and uh so when the child is born and we, we read we read the, uh, the horoscope of the child and we uh, we look at the son for example for the father the lot of the father etc etc and we say that we say that this for the father and we say that this for the mother so again what we are seeing our conclusions are uh, they start being valid from the life based on on the point of view of the native in other words what we're seeing about the father starts being valid from the birth of the child not before that because this horoscope did not exist before obviously because the horoscope marks the entry of the soul into the body as per plato and many ancient astrologers the indian tradition also uh, and uh, so are we saying that the child is some, somehow influencing the the, the fortune uh, the success of his parent his or her parents how again as a cause and uh uh, and also uh, <laughs> on the other side of the spectrum when uh, again we have this explicit in Valence and other astrologers also in the Indian tradition I've read this if uh, a child has uh, has some very positive activations such as for example the sun being for example if, if the, the sun is uh, activated as a, as a ruler of the times and the child is a few years old the child cannot use the significations of the sun for, for, for fame, for status, for, you know, for power, etc. So what the ancient astrologers say is that uh, the, it will, the, the parents will take advantage or someone of the family will take advantage of this signification. It will benefit. So again, are we saying that the child directly benefits, uh, causes the success of the parents or somehow signifies it as a normal? So again, it's... Um, <laughs> it's it's it, it, it's really tricky to say. Uh, and uh, 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 one last example: uh, there are also accounts of ancient astrologers, and I've also uh, uh, tested this, saying that uh, uh, there is some again some uh, vibrational connection between the charts of, of people of the same family. For example, Bumashar, and not just Bumashar, and Sao and others, so that we can we can predict things about uh about so for example uh, the native the native dies and we can predict things about uh, about other members of the native's family from the chart of the native even though the native has died so what's going on here what's going on again how is this uh, the native died in other words the body died the soul left What's going on? How is this? Con why is this connection not broken? Uh, again, we don't know this. We don't. That's why astrology is an occult science. And for those that are interested, you can check out. For example, I've checked it. How, how Bruce Lee, fa very famous martial artist of the 20th century, when Bruce Lee died, you can you can see if you again if you know what to look for, etc. You can see the death of Bruce Lee's son Brandon Lee in Bruce Lee's own chart. Again, Bruce Lee died in. Um, uh, 1973 i believe in july and brandon uh, lee died in uh, 1991 or something i don't remember 1990 in the early 90s again 17 18 19 years later and again so uh how to explain this again bruce lee had died that the father had died did the father cause the death of of the son i mean that's absurd right again the spirit moved on and yet <coughs> so in this case it works as a norman as a representation the father's chart the dead father's chart signified the dead whereas in other cases it it, it works as a cause for example <coughs> sorry uh as astrology improved and uh, as um, 
I mean, as it developed and as also as uh, medicine got uh, incorporated more and more into astrology, uh, more and more astrologers uh, uh, became also uh, physicians, doctors, and uh, so they started working with, uh, obviously, with with uh, with patients. With uh, so they started predicting death. They started curing disease. They started, uh, you know. T- uh, uh, giving advice, medical advice about prevention, etc, etc. But the point here is that uh, if you are interested in, uh, uh, for example, in health, uh, etc, you will have heard about, uh, uh, for example, uh, picking herbs, collecting herbs at auspicious times, that some herbs are, you know, uh, to catch the the vibrations, the influences, the energy of of the sun, or because different herbs are ruled by different planets, uh, uh, or, or if you want to charge a crystal, again, do you do it depending on the type of crystal, depending on the crystal structure? Do you do it on the uh, on sunlight or on moonlight? You know, and uh, some crystals cannot be. It said I don't want to digress into this, but the point is, in this, in this, um, in this case, claiming that planets uh, work as omens representations. Uh, I'm sorry, it's it's just absurd because, <laughs> again, uh, in, in in the past, uh, I mean, they had apothecaries, they had you know, uh, they had places where people could uh, could buy herbs, etc. These herbs were charged. That's why we see charging a crystal charging a herb you know or, or when we uh, as as physicians astrologers when when they um when they prescribe a given medicine take it in this hour and this hour why because of the influences of the stars do not touch the body do not operate on the part of the body where the moon is transiting again why it doesn't signify it causes or or again with with the herbs with the with the with the prescriptions with the or with the uh, what was it called the uh, 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 sorry I forgot the name the chart the chart calculated for when the native gets sick uh, again these charts we're talking about causes what causes disease what again what the chart shows and um, so again in this in this case uh, taking the, uh, the the position that planets accents as, as representations only signifying uh, doesn't cut it. it it simply it simply uh, uh, doesn't work uh, so uh, again as I'm showing it can depending on on the case depending on the branch depending on the etc either of this uh, uh, makes sense makes much makes much more sense makes much more sense sorry and the other doesn't uh, so uh, uh, let's see uh, what else would I uh, would I like to add well um, let's let's move uh, let let's move to the Indian tradition um, for example uh, you have unless you know uh, in case you're not familiar uh, they have uh, first of all, uh, the, uh, the word for for a planet they use the sanskrit word graha which means a grasper which means something that grabs you something that 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 uh uh yeah that grasps you that you know that starts to control you to influence you and obviously uh they uh, look at the planets as as uh, live beings and therefore they look at the planets as causes and you will not in fact their whole tradition unlike ancient astrology where i showed you many many types of uh, you know of, of views the indian view is i mean i've never uh, i've never uh, uh, heard or read or etc and i know indian astrologers have never uh, heard any other uh, view uh, aside from planets being alive planets causing things you know they speak about karma they speak about etc etc different types of karma and uh, so the Indian view is that planet planets cause things, and nakshatras cause things, etc. Now, whether they are partial determinists or complete determinists, well, uh, it depends. Uh, I should also say this that uh, uh, here, 
we have gradations. We have some astrologers in general that are partial determinists, others that are also partial but are inclined, starting to incline to more deter that are more deterministic. They are not complete determinists, but you see, there, so there are gradations. It's it's not as again. This is a uh, the figure uh, contains much more information than than uh, uh, seen at, at at first glance. So what I'm saying is that the Indians, well. Uh, Indian astrology, Georgish, uh, they are uh, overall, we can say they are partial determinists overall. Be why? Because, well, because they have uh, lots of remedies. And uh, uh, again, if you uh, if you're a complete determinist, well, what, what, what good are remedies aside from uh, aside from coming from the mind, the best uh, uh, I don't like this word salvation, but the best, yeah, the best uh, cure is the mind. You know, uh, your philosophy, your 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 mindset. Uh, and but the Indians, they have, well, they have mantras. They have songs for the planets and prayers for the planets, and they have uh, also yagyas, which is a special ceremony uh, performed by by a trained priest that. Uh, chants on your behalf for one day for five days for seven days etc and they, you can hire many priests and this is considered to be perhaps the strongest uh, remedy although again per, per their own per the indian astrologer's admission this doesn't always work in many cases it produces mira mi miraculous results in other cases it doesn't work in some cases it works barely in other words it but again these are I want, I want to make sure you understand these are mitigations you can't uh, you can't uh, this modern idea this modern nonsense of reinventing yourself and you know of overriding your chart no such thing no such thing you can mitigate you can decrease you can lessen the blow but that's it and, it, and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to do it again per their own admission and not just their own admission uh, also uh, Another type of, uh, of remedy that's uh, that's prescribed is wearing uh, a ring or something, uh, a necklace of, of precious stones. This is also part of the Western tradition, obviously, a long history and also of the Indian tradition. And even in the in the West, so to say, we have uh, talismans that are again this inf again this again this all stems from planets and our stars acting as causes because when you create the talisman you're creating it you're creating it with electional astrology to uh, to infuse it with the energy of uh, of the given uh, of the given planet that you would like to uh, to uh, to uh, to strengthen or balance in your chart so again depending on whether you want to strengthen or you want to uh, you want to strengthen a weak planet you want to weaken a, a, a malefic etc there there you know uh, it depends and so the point is this all stems from uh, you know views planets and stars as causes and um, uh, also uh, again this goes to planetary magic if you've read there is a very very famous book picatrix you will see that the types of uh, of, of, uh, of spells they give and i mean that they're all based uh, they i mean not all but overwhelmingly based on astrology in fact there is no magic without astrology strictly speaking i mean if you do it the, the right way again per uh, per magician's uh, uh, admission so uh, for example they if you want to um, uh, if you want to uh, get rid of uh, if you want to get rid of, of mice or of uh, cockroaches or what have you uh, you are supposed to do this and this on that moment be and you are supposed to elect such and such an ascendant that matches the given uh, vermin that you want to get rid of it also goes for people but i don't want to because it's uh, uh you can hurt people with this with this knowledge and let's uh, i don't want to to deal with this uh so uh uh what else uh well uh speaking of of uh, precious stones it's not as uh, uh, there is also great um a great variety of opinions in other words uh the ancient uh, the ancient masters they did not they left no instructions. The only no, the only information they left was which planets rule which stones. Like uh, for the most part, with uh, with the West, with their Western colleagues. So we have what planets rule what stones, and there there are even differences between the two traditions. But anyhow, 
and the point is is that if you want to to use a stone uh different astrologers will, will give you different information and also uh the stone i mean it will cost you a lot it will cost you a few thousand uh I don't know, 2,000 euros if you're measuring in euros or something, or it could cost you three, four, etc. Again, because it, it requires uh, lots of carrots. It has to be pure, it has to be unheated, etc. Et so, uh, also speaking of, uh, of other, uh, of other uh, remedies and, and act actions that you can take, for example, uh, of, uh, if, if a given horoscope indicates that uh, oh, careful you see I'm, I'm i'm falling into into the indicates <laughs> as an omen or if a given horoscope causes imprisonment what do we <laughs> you see uh if um, so if a given <laughs> horoscope shows uh, uh imprisonment uh the way to uh the way to mitigate it again this is uh, this uh i've not i've not re i've read this only in indian sources but it's is to is to uh, to buy uh to buy uh uh, birds that are in uh, in a, in sorry I forgot the, the English word in a cell in a cage and let them go. That's why you 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 are uh, you are uh, you are doing an act of, of freedom. You are releasing these birds from bondage from from yes, and you are uh, alleviating your um, uh, your own chart in this way or you can buy animals that are set, set for slaughter or on the market to be bo uh, to be bought and you know and, and, and cooked and eaten you can buy them and let them go again this is uh, I have tremendous respect for, 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 for the Indian tradition there are many things I don't agree with but that's beside the point the point is these people uh, they have a, their tradition is more intact for many for many reasons so again uh, it's, uh, uh, it's it's very uh, 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 very um, caring and humane thing to do to you know to uh, because people with difficult charts it's you know this can this can drive them to uh, to despair which is one of the, one of the worst conditions to be in really I mean um, uh, let's see let's see what else uh, well uh, yes, speaking of, uh, of of the Indian, and it also this also goes through for, for the for the for ancient astrology. But the, again, the Indians they have uh, three types of uh, of karma. Sorry, I don't remember the Sanskrit words. Again, I'm not on Georgia sheet. But the point is, they have depending on the chart. If a given uh, placement is uh, is is encountered, let's say one time or given indication, then this type of what they call karma is. Uh, again, something light that can be uh, that can be uh, even overcome or uh, s significantly reduced. If it's encountered two times, three times, then it's uh, it's in the middle. It's much more difficult, uh, you know. To and then if it's if it's the, if the chart is screaming about a given accident or given something, then this type of, of what they call karma is is fixed. And sorry but if it's fixed again you have to uh, meet the challenge you have to learn your lesson etc you can then they would recommend uh, you know uh, wearing a stone or what have you but not all of them the point is we have gradations likewise likewise with initial astrology if you have um, specifically if you have the planet afflicted if you have the lord afflicted if you have the lord of the lot afflicted if you have the again if you have the the universal significator of the topic afflicted i mean your Sorry, but the only thing that can uh, that can uh, that can save in this in this in this matter, I'm not talking about the native. This can be about marriage or about children or about or what have you, about friends. The only thing that can really save is uh, is the divine. You you need an intervention or something because uh, by the by all the rules of astrology, the, the the topic is so afflicted that what we call it, there is a denial of top of the topic. It's it, it the planets will not create it where they will deny it. Again, speaking as causes, so they will signify <laughs> as representations that the topic will uh, will not be realized. It will not. It will not be allowed to to yeah to even to manifest or to see. Uh, so okay, uh, now moving on to uh, to the Chinese tradition. Uh, first of all, let's say that uh, let me say that uh, uh, they don't use planets. They don't use uh, astronomical bodies. They used 
uh, uh, they use fictional stars and they but they use uh, the energy of the uh, of they, they use chi prana or however you want to call it they use the energy of of the cosmos of the earth and they measure it and uh they use the five elements so uh, uh, uh the point is regardless of whether they're using fictional or what have you they have a philosophy and they have an astrology again as i explained that's a uh, little over a thousand years old so they use the uh, the stars and the, the elements as causes no astrologer we call them as, as representations no no again as the indians unified tradition uninterrupted tradition uh somewhat they they use them as uh, as causes and in fact i like to give this example also to my clients uh, there is a star in the four pillars branch of chinese astrology called uh let's see in english it would be uh, a sword and a lamp or a saber and a lamp lamp i mean uh uh, uh l-a-m-b as the animal as, as as a sheep as a small sheep so this uh, this star consists of a sword and a small sheep and this star signifies again depending whether it's a useful element depending on the energetic state of the of the star etc it signifies cuts and surgeries and accidents and uh angry outbursts and etc etc it can be uh again i've seen clients with uh with two three serious surgeries with this star again it depends the point is is that you can have this star on the natal level and if it's negative uh, and if it's very difficult, then it will it you have such and such a character. However, if the star also appears in the luck cycle, in other words, if it's activated in a given five-year cycle or given year, or a given month or a given day, also we can go down to, you will start what all Chinese astrologers say is that you will start feeling the effects of the stars. For example, they say that if you are holding a knife, if you're holding a sword, if you're holding a gun shotgun etc very be very careful don't be very careful because there is as if some invisible force is influencing you you can hurt yourself without meaning to without intending to and again if you're very sensitive uh, to energy or if your chart is uh the, the the energy of your chart the elements is mixed and uh, this makes you more susceptible more you know you can you can sense this and especially if the star is negative for you it's, it's a negative element and uh, so again we're talking about direct causes here and also as also further proof of course of this is that what chinese astrologers like to say is that uh, uh chinese astrology is uh, uh the diagnosis whereas feng shui is the cure so with chinese and also the cure is also uh, man luck or human luck uh is through Qigong through self through self through self cultivation through your habits through your knowledge through your actions uh, uh, through your nutrition etc etc but the point is is that also with 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 uh, with feng shui uh, we have stars again fictional stars doesn't matter these stars we have malefic uh, benefic stars neutral stars these stars cause these stars cause when you start reading the texts you will see that five yellow causes cancer for example it's the earth element this or it can cause depending on again on the if you get if you have multiple activations or this can cause uh this star will cause uh, bickering and lawsuits this star will cause uh, uh marital infidelity it will cause you know uh, abuse of alcohol etc etc the, the language is as causes as causes when this star gets activated again a given year when it flies into a given sector in your uh in your um, property in your uh, in your home or in your uh, work environment etc in your office where you work etc etc this star will cause this and that and uh and again with with mitigations again with uh with, with, it's it's uh it's much easier here i mean it's the, the language is much more descriptive and much because we don't have planets we have stars and we have uh we have uh, cycles of uh 
of, of production, of weakening, of, 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 of controlling. So we use the, 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 the uh, given star has belongs to a given element, be it in Feng Shui or in Chinese astrology, and we we can reduce this element as, as, a, as a measure, or we can put physical objects uh, uh, in that will reduce uh, uh, the effects, the causes of, of this star, etc., etc. This, so uh, this, this is how it works. Or if, if, uh, if let's say uh, fire is is your negative element, we don't want to we don't want to put a firehouse in your uh, where you are, or we, because it's fire. We don't you know, we don't want to put uh, red carpets because it's fire, etc., etc. Okay, this is again how uh, so. Uh, uh the chinese the chinese uh, view is also that as I, as I as i explained is that uh stars and astrology and feng shui we are measuring energy and you also you also uh, encounter this in the text that uh when you're in a in a in a favorable cycle as shown in your uh horoscope in your chinese four pillars of destiny chart the 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 energy is coming to you the energy is pushing you the energy uh, wants you to succeed the energy is opening doors for you that so you're moving uh, uh you're walking the path of least of least resistance people are helping you you you, you are lucky vice versa when you're in a negative cycle the energy is coming to to rob you the energy is coming to uh to, to harm you to deprive you of things etc it's, it's it's attacking you it will try to to take something from you to you know Again, depending on what sector of the chart is, uh, uh, which branch is uh, is activated, etc., etc., what what type of combination it causes, which element it creates, which element it harms, it, their specifics, uh, etc. So, uh, yeah. So uh, overall, you see that this uh, this uh, topic of how astrology works is um, uh, very uh, very complex. Uh, astrologers. Uh, rarely agree and that that's fine again i repeat astrology is a, is an occult science it's an oral tradition so what we are uh what we are studying i mean uh we are fortunate that the creator the however you want to call it the the the, the infinite ocean infinite awareness uh, allowed this knowledge to be used for the i mean it, it should be used for the betterment of people for helping people not for harming people and that uh again we don't necessarily have to understand how exactly how it works and let me um, close this by mentioning and because i mentioned science well <laughs> it's very funny you know uh scientists because i my next video will be about whether astrology is a science which is also a very complicated matter but let me say that scientists they 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 feel or they like people to think that they have a monopoly of truth on truth <laughs> which is ridiculous you know because if uh, if any of you have studied, have studied the development of science, and this is per, per some scientists' admission, the development of science is a history of mistakes. This is it. And that's okay. That's okay. As long as it improves, and that's the point, and not stagnates, and as long as it serves people and not the other way around. I'm talking, of course, about real science. I'm not talking about using science for political purposes as, as for the last two years and not just two years, inventing things, etc. But uh, the point is, uh, uh, the point is, is that uh, by all, by by common by common knowledge, uh, our human senses we can uh, we can perceive 0.005% of the of the spectrum. So we're seeing 0.05 percent, and we and what and we're claiming that uh, we have mon a monopoly of truth that this doesn't exist, that this cannot be true, that this. Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, the scientists are serious. They believe that they know it all. You know, <laughs> of course, if you if you look at quantum physics, you will see, you will see that it pretty much destroyed the whole scientific paradigm. Uh, that we're not physical beings, etc., etc. It's not that astrologers haven't known this, or magicians haven't known this uh, forever. But anyhow, or shamans. But and another thing, also, again, per, per the, the scientist's admission, with the best technology, we can see up to five percent of the universe. Five percent, folks. The other ninety-five percent is dark matter, that, which is an elaborate way of saying we don't know. 
to the scientists. Of course, they won't say it. They don't. They won't say we don't know because they will be humiliated. They have to theorize. You know, they have to. You know, they have to write. They have to. Anyhow, the point is <laughs> not to take them seriously because they don't know what they're talking about. They haven't studied astrology, and even if they, even if they have, like we have, we can't see for sure how it works. And I, as I have shown. In, in certain in certain branches in certain cases this works in certain uh, cases the, the representations work etc so uh, again it's uh, 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 it's been my pleasure making this video it's uh, it's it's a diverse topic and uh, again uh, it, it in no way influences how I mean all, it, it in no way influences or makes an, one astrologer better or worse it's 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 good it's 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 good to uh to keep this in mind i mean to keep these uh circles and these categories in mind because again they, they can help orient you to to uh, to certain philosophies because they match this uh you know the, the, these circles this uh, these views so uh again and it, it really helps uh, it, it it can help your clients tremendously if you if you uh un, you know explain to them where you're coming from and that uh, uh that you know that there could be solutions and that we are not uh all knowing we are we, I mean, currently we're people we're spiritual beings but currently we're having a human experience so we're not we can know we can never be 100 percent right even though astrology can be could be 100 percent correct we can't see it because our our experiences our our uh you know uh, our perception is limited I mean, and this is again where we are we're in physical reality and this is coming from 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 the highest from the higher spheres from the ethers etc and above so uh yeah so uh please uh, think on this ponder on this and i hope you found uh, you find it useful if uh, you'd like to uh to, to subscribe to my channel ancient and chinese astrology you can do so if uh, you can like uh, the video etc if you have a question or a comment or if you'd like to share your view on the matter i would be interested on, on reading it and i hope you found it useful thank you